with our seventh part of Howdy. Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, so we just uh, reviewed Sayori's poem. Well, Sayori didn't give us her poem. We but talked to Sayori. We talked we... to Sayori. She left early, which concerns us. We were actually talking about it like we don't know what she's going to do back yeah, home. Yeah, right? She's depressed. She's leaving early. She's going alone by herself. Not walking home with her. Oh, no. Yeah, so we don't know what's going to happen with that. But, you know, it's kind of lingering in our heads. We already... Talked with Natsuki, so we heard her poem. Her poem and her message. And, oh, I'm interested to see these next two poems. Yeah. Oh god, am I gonna be fucking terrified by Monica's poem? The last You're one. You're already was scary. terrified of Monica. It's gonna be in some fucking weird font. It's gonna be like, I'm looking into your soul. I see you behind the screen. I'm going to kill you. Hold it there. <laughs> I don't think we're there yet. Alright, let's see where we're gonna go. Let's go. You want to go with Yuri? It's Yuri. Yuri. I like Yuri. I know you like Yuri. The, I like the character too. <laughs> okay, you know. All right. Let's see. Well done, Alexis. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it, fe it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would become a chore. It's a great way for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone in their writing, and I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you, ever, have you learned anything about yourself, Alexis? Huh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're good at writer or a bad writer. And even my matter. opinions are just opinions, you know? I was like, you know, yeah, in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it's like, she's almost quoting the song. Yeah, I guess you kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. Even my opinions are just opinions, yeah. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. <laughs> I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Huh? Why me? Well, you're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? Oh, there she is again. Yuri thinks for a good minute. That must be terrible! Huh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri, it's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri. What, what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. All right. Do you want to share your poem now? Oh, here we go. Okay. Here. Beach. Beach. It, it it's again. a Natsuki there, right? Except this was on purpose. The last one, they just kind of happened to write about similar yeah. topics. Here is where they agreed Wait. to write about Oh, they agreed to write it? That's what Natsuki was saying. Though. Yes. I agreed to okay. write Beach. Oh, God. I can't. A marvel million, millions of years in the making where the womb of earth chaotically meets the surface under a clear blue sky and expanse of bliss? Yes. But beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma. Clouds. That's right, yeah. No, I just thought you remember what Sayori said about the rain cloud. Rain cloud, huh. The easiest hmm. would and this is world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sandcastle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? That's a weird way to say it. Huh. Or will it, will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sandcastles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle, yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, 
tempted by the foamy tendrils. Uh, what's it? Tur turn back. Turn back. And I abandon my peace to erode at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. That's it. And so I'll, I'll just go through here. Marvel Beach is a Marvel Million Years thing. Womb Cairn. Earth, yeah. Plus, Greenland comes in. I just want to get lost in this one where everything can be found. That's, that's a good line. Get lost where everything can be found. I can come up with stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, right. Yeah, I guess you maybe might be like Yuri as a writer. Hmm. Only Bill Sinkus. What the sand's wet? What the sand's wet? The tide comes. Foundations. The, Think the about tide that. comes. Yeah, it's like sandcastle. It's like yeah, right. Or gently, the tide just gently, like, or wave just go. But either way, it doesn't matter. But if you think it's about it, what does the wave mean? Is it like a wave of emotions? Is it like? Yeah. Because you need to build something, but you need to have, you know, whatever it is that makes it wet. You need wet sand. So well, let me think. Yeah, like. Hmm. Maybe I'm. I wonder. I wonder too if outcome is the same. It's like, maybe just life. It doesn't even matter. We still build sand castles. We still build castles. We still build anything. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. This world's not going to last forever. Eventually, the sun's going to swallow the earth, and everything on this planet's going to be gone. If you think about it, that's kind of what she was talking about before she, you got to the poem. She was saying, yeah. like, you know, it doesn't, you know, it's just an opinion. But... No. We still do it. We still build, even though well, every inch of our existence is going to disappear at some point. Well, we might last forever. That's deep, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Well, it's, it's perhaps true. I hope not. I hope, you know, we well, take our spaceships and build Earth 2 and the stars over many tens of thousands of years Well, the thing for me is, I think, <laughs> you know, we build things to kind of commemorate people, and I think that's what, you know, I think that's probably what we should aspire in life, is to Be kind of, like, not like like a, leave like a carbon footprint, but leave like a footprint in, your, in the world, you know, whether it's with the people you love or with the, your community or friends, you know, things like that. You build something to share with other people or a legacy to leave behind. Mm -hmm. you know. The ultimate boundary line. I'm just going full deep yeah, in this. Yeah. To land in the sea. To a road. And return to Earth. Maybe that is that too. It's like dying. When you die. <laughs> like eventually we just turn to ashes and we erode and we, mm -hmm. we just become part of Earth. Yeah. yeah, that's our own existence. That seems like the kind of... Doesn't seem as, like, creepy as I expected. No, but... It's not like the other one, where it was the, the Pavlovian yeah. fucking conditioning. Yeah. The only thing that kind of, like, skews me a little is the part where it says, turn back. It's like, turn back! Turn back now! <laughs> Turn back. Oh yeah, she's telling you, turn back. Stop fucking playing this game. I don't think it's as obvious. That's what I'm saying, turn back. And I abandon my peace to erode at the Tempted shore. Tempted by the foamy tendrils. I feel like these are all just a bunch of... Are, are all these girls just squids and like... like Squids? Yeah. Is this a, a is this a hidden sequel to Splatoon that we didn't know about? No, no, are no. Just squid girls. I feel like the, <laughs> I'm thinking to myself: Are these girls gonna end up being like what do you call them? Like tentacle monsters? I don't think it's gonna go <laughs> that way. I'd almost laugh it if it did. That would be like fucking like fucked up and weird. I don't know. I don't know why the game would be getting craze if the twist yeah. is they all turn into tentacle monsters. Maybe, maybe she would, is. Is she a fucking be... alien? Return. She was talking about like how, what the book's about. Isn't it like about like human experiments or something? Yeah. I don't know. Or she just likes creepy stuff. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she likes horror, so. I do anyway. Too. Anyways, all right. We want to keep going. Yeah. Let's go on. Spend a lot of time looking at your um, poems, Yuri. I'm always aw I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about, but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. Yeah, Natsuki already told me about it. She, she did? She didn't say anything weird, did she? She just wanted us to write about the same topic again. I suppose to better prepare the differences in our writing styles or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. 
Knowing her, it's no surprise she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. Sure, but, sure, sure. Well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Oh no! Oh no! Monica, no, no! You making it <laughs> Alex, your panicking doesn't help. <laughs> I'm sorry. If we're all calm, we'll be okay, alright? Okay. Calm. Happy thoughts. Potatoes. Just think happy thoughts. <laughs> I you like socks. <laughs> Have you thought about what, what you want to submit to pro perform at the festival? Well. Being in this club is one thing, but performing it in front of a bunch of people, I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see you. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at that at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. It's pretty good. It makes me think of Sayori, like the one other one you wrote. You two are like the dynamic duo. <laughs> dynamic duo. Dynamic duo! <laughs> That's like us. <laughs> That's kind of exaggerating it. Ouch, dude, jeez. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her even in this club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy, it's just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. Why does everyone want us to, like, mingle with everyone? With those two, yeah. And you can talk to me every now and then, too. I mean, I can't write a poems that appeal to you because you're not one of the hoppy little waifu things, so I don't know. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? Ah, no, it's nothing like that. I'm still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh... All right. See, even he's like... The lady who knew everything. Who knows everything. Who knows everything. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, no. You know, let's not get scared. Let's just read the poem, okay? Uh, it's not going to be a jump scare poem. Yeah, it's not <laughs> right? going to be a jump scare poem. It's, remember, it's going to be creepy before it gets actually scary. Because this is a good game. Yeah, this, this, is is a five, good game. this is Five Nights at Literature Club. It'll be fine. <laughs> five, five, nights <laughs> <at literature. laughs> five Nights at the Literature Club. Oh, God. Okay. And... The lady who knew everything. Knows everything. Knows everything. <laughs> the lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wander wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who was found who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift the sky's victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope. Knowing legends don't exist, but when all these things, all these have failed, when all else has failed, when all else has failed, me, when, <laughs> me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight, twilight, twilight sky, twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather. A dry quill expressionless. But a hand catches me beneath the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and I find no one end to, no end to her gaze. It's still more than one. Yeah. The lady who knows everything, knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. 
I am not your legend. The legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Interesting. What the fuck? Okay, this is a big WTF, right? Lady who wanders earth, lady who knows everything. Only has found every answer on me, all purpose knows everything. Here I am, so there's a lady who knows everything. And I am a feather. I like that, you know, the space. Mm -hmm. you know, it's, uh, so she does that. Mm -hmm. Like with the load me part. <laughs> no, no. Lost of sky victims search for little help. Knowing legends. Also film. Legend is all I did. Start to one day they still know I fall. I'm falling gentle as a feather. Drag folks first. A hand catches me from the beautiful lady. The lady who knows everything. <clears throat> Cut her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds at home. I have found, and this is a quote, I have found every answer, all which amounts to nothing. There's no meaning, no purpose for you. It's the only thing possible. I'm not your last thing you watch the news. Fall and pick up a gust of wind. Huh. Do you pick up something I don't? I don't know. Oh, this what? is fucked. What? Uh, well, we're gonna probably, well, we'll see, we'll play through the game and, like, read all these fucking poems on our own time, because, uh, oh, man. I mean, I... Who is the lady? Yeah. Is Monica the lady? Well, what are you getting from it? What is your understanding? It's about myths and mythology and legends and how legends, you know, ultimately are... Myths. There's no purpose or meaning. Mm -hmm. So you just pretty much say the whole thing as like. So she doesn't know everything though, because the lady who knows everything it's just an old tale. So the lady who knows everything doesn't exist. Exactly. The person who picks her up, she's a beautiful lady, and it seems like she's the lady who knows everything. But there's not. If you take her own answer to it. So, what brings her back Who do you trust, right? If there's no meaning, no purpose, and if she's not a legend, the legend does not exist, then... She's not the lady who knows everything. Therefore, she does not know everything. Isn't that mm -hmm. a paradox? Hmm. It's interesting. If that's what she claims, is that I am not the lady who knows everything, then how is there any truth into what she's saying? How she really found every answer? Mm -hmm. Alright. So... Hollow voice. Expressionless? Find no end to her gaze. Mm. Keep in mind, who's always staring straight at us? I can get sauce! Let me know when you're gonna click it. I'm scared. Alright, we ready? No. I'm clicking. Okay. Okay, you're good. Is she okay? Yeah. She's no. Not I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. So that's what you said! Yeah, right? Because if we all had the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? You got a point, I guess. Not well, necessarily true. There aren't happy songs. Do you realize that, like, what? not a single song or poem I've ever written has been happy, right? Well, you're written. <laughs> Some people write them, though. But then again, then you look back, oh, they write them because they, they have problems in their own life and they want to spread yeah. joy to others. And... Mm -hmm. Might have a point, Monica. Yeah, she has a point. <laughs> Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. Yeah, well, yeah, because she's talking to us. Because <laughs> uh, we're not two-dimensional. You mean one-dimensional? Wait, not one dimensional. She said humans are two dimensional. Aren't we three dimensional? They're two dimensional, right? Because it's a video game. Yeah. It's a 2D so sprite. what's one dimensional? 
It's just like completely flat, and lacking any dimension. Uh, what the fuck's going on here? Oh no! <laughs> uh, yeah, that. Anyway, <laughs> here's Monica writing tip of the day. Oh no! Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just letting you, just instead telling, of telling you. you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? Just meeting with people and talking with them. If I am in a literature club. That's my advice for today. Wait, so does she not recognize that she's... Is she talking to the fourth wall again? And talking to us? Wanting us to talk with people? <laughs> because she can see through the screen? Probably. And she's like, yeah, from your own literature club. I'm like, okay, why would anybody like say that? And like... So she's pretty much watching us. Watching, yeah, she's right there. Well, she's right there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Alright. Oh, God! <laughs> oh, We're still happy. Okay. We still got the okay, happy music. Only We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... You're okay. No jump scares. It's just not Hold on one second. Isn't it just me or did someone say, say, say something strange right now? Mm -hmm. Something did sound a bit unusual. Fuck. <laughs> That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri is, isn't immune to it. <laughs> Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Oh no! <laughs> no, no, I'm scared. Oh, Yuri. Ste <laughs> terrible is about to happen. No, oh, my God, no, look at her no. eyes. Uh, Whose eyes? Monica's are looking a little weird. I don't think it's just how she's drawn. I think it's just how she's drawn. No, not look. No. Nope. In your books, maybe. Who said that? Me. Oh, okay. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. You can keep looking, it's fine. Ah. Oh. Ah. It seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori... Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Oh, Natsuki, people show some... Um, oh, Natsuki, please, show some decency. That's so Natsuki. Oh, come on! Uh, uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time oh, she's not fuck. feeling well? You're right, Sonatsuki. Yeah. So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no! Oh, here we go again. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people. Calm down, calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. Everything is not fine. Fine? What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out oh, the rest of the oh, festival oh, preparations, just, so. Oh, Monica. Monica don't, knows Don't she. drop the fucking topic. Alright, Monica, bitch. Alright. <laughs> you think Monica's... Sayori's not fucking here? And she might be having problems, and you're just fine to throw the conversation somewhere else. Festival preparations can fucking wait. We need four people here, bitch. <laughs> okay. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. Oh, God. Crying. Screaming. Having nightmares of you. Thinking of those eyes! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what up. I'm doing. What are you doing, Natsuki? That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. 
but we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle all that by that all by yourself, Natsuki? Ch Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I don't want to know what you're doing. I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Ah, good. Thanks, Mother. Sayori will be helping me design them. Well, you better go talk to her. As for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Um... Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? <laughs> <laughs> Useless. Oh, you're not useless, Yuri. You should make tea for everybody. Come on. N no! That's not it at all! You're the most talented person here, you know? Oh, and the Nazi's like... Now, Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, I can't even... T even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit. I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't if I can't be the, a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners and tech and decorations to help set the atmosphere. At atmosphere? Um, about that, I I love atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> That's so her. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Her mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Alexels. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy ta tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give them a give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really appreciate, really, I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's, is Monica, Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? <laughs> I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, if, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. <laughs> Alexos may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assist him with the decorations. <laughs> oh, oh, they fight. They fight. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations, anyway? Sounds more like you're making excuses for Alexel's too. Wh what are you saying? <laughs> it will be extremely meticulous work. And baking, is it? Just w what do you think? Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Alexel's to decide oh. how he'd <laughs> like to contribute. <laughs> That's a different thing. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as, as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. Alexos, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, uh, of course. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. The only person who's looking straight at us... You can uh, go with Sayori. Do we want to do that? She left on her own. Well... What happened she to her? Okay, let's think about this. She wants us to hang out with one of these girls. But she's also, like, really upset. Who? Sayori. So, like... Yeah, but, like... She just ran off. We should be with her. What? I feel like we should be with her. Yeah. But, you know, she got upset because we weren't hanging out with everybody else. But it's like, she's because that's what she wants to tell us, because she's, again, thinking about everybody else and not thinking about herself. 
because she's like, all smiles, everyone, but she's really depressed and mm -hmm. lonely. She doesn't know what she wants, but... So, I mean, it's also really up to you, I guess. Let's, you know what? Let's take a save. Mm -hmm. Empty slot. All right, we're going to take a break now. We're at a half hour. We're going to deliberate we're gonna on this. We're going to deliberate, <laughs> and we're going to decide mm. for episode... Eight, I believe. Yes, episode eight. The, decide between the, the last, the, the last, waifus, the last which one waifu. pick? This the is a uh, Doki waifu. Doki, the last waifu. <laughs> the last waifu, so. All right. All right, no spoilers. No, I actually okay. need to spoil. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, <laughs> we'll be back. Right. We'll be back.